Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the total run times of a program on our Hunter iCore controller. Let me show you something. If you've got a Hunter iCore controller and you wanna know what the total run times of a program is, it's a very simple thing to find and it's another cool feature on this Hunter iCore controller. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to your turn dial and say you wanna know, you're over here at turn into run times. You can see different run times. You scroll through to the right, different stations, different times set. And you wanna know all of program A, how long it's gonna run. That way you can program it the time you want it to come on and come off and turn off. You're gonna to wanna to turn your dial over to advanced features. And you've got all these different advanced features here. Now you're gonna, there's, you can see it down at the bottom, there's page one and page two. You're gonna to wanna to go to page two. So hit the, hit the down arrow until it comes to page two. And then you can see this total run time. So click down arrow to that, to where this little arrow is next to it. Then click the plus button and it'll open up this menu. So now you can see program A Total run times is an hour and 36 minutes. Then if you wanna switch between programs, come over to your program button. Now you can see program B, we've got a program that's gonna run three hours and 30 minutes. And then if you go to C, D, vice versa. And then after you end up checking it, and say you wanna go back over here to your start time and change your start time to, to come on at a certain time and then make sure it comes off at a certain time, that's where you would do that. And then as soon as you're done programming anything you wanna do, you always make sure you turn it back to run. That way it will run automatically. Knowing the exact run time of a program helps you program your start times to be very precise on when that program starts, but mainly when it stops. And if you're running two programs at a time and you can't overlap them, like we've got program A and program B here, if I know that program A runs a, an hour and 36 minutes, I know, and it starts at 12, I know I've got to go past 136 and maybe even wait till two to then start my next program to let it run through. So that's some of the reasons why you need to know how long they run. And I've done other videos about this where we had a particular project that had to stop running by 5 a.m. And so knowing the run times helped us pinpoint exactly when we needed to start that system so it would stop running at 5 a.m. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Like, share, and subscribe. That way you don't miss any tips.